Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is the one brand festival look I was talking about in a few videos ago. So I was scrolling on, I went onto Lilo's website because I wanted to pick up another Big Lash Mascara as I really can't find my last one. Either it's somewhere here or I left it at my parents, but I don't know. Anyway, I was looking on the website and they've got this section called um, Looks. So they kind of um, give you ideas for like certain looks. There was one that's called a festival look and I really love the colours of it because it's like greens and purples and stuff like that, which I love for eyeshadows anyway. Um, so I had a look and looked at some of the um, products that it said to use for it and I had the majority of them, a few things I didn't have. So I actually just went up and picked it and I really wanted just to recreate it because um, I really like the look of it on the website. So if you, yeah, if you ever go onto the website, if you go on the looks, they have a few different um, kind of ideas if you want to get some ideas. Yeah, I just thought let's have fun. So this is their festival fun campaign. I'm going to recreate it based off what they say on the website and see what happens. So it doesn't say anything about what base they're using, like whether they've got foundation, concealer, um, that kind of stuff. So I'm going to just go ahead and pop some concealer and powder on. I'm probably just going to pop the concealer in places where I need to and then kind of drag it out. So I'm not going to put it like as a foundation on my skin. I think I'm going to keep my skin quite nice and um, light. Um, so I don't have the Lily Lolo concealer or foundation anymore. Um, so I'm just doing my Hint Beauty concealer as always. And yeah, I'm just going to pop it under my eyes. Get redness here. And then what I'm going to do is just drag that product and blend it out. So yeah, I don't want to, I'm not going to put this all over the face, but I'm going to blend it out into the skin. So that's giving a nice brightening effect to the centre of my face. Now before I set that in place, I'm just going to add a few extra details of my own to this. So although I do have freckles, and quite a few of them, I want to just emphasise some of them across the nose, because I think it's a really pretty look to do. So before I set, I'm going to actually go with the Brow Duo Pencil in, I have mine in medium. And I'm just going to go over freckles that I already have, which have been slightly hidden by the concealer. And this is why I never really, well, occasionally I will go for a quite full coverage foundation. But I do like my freckles to show through. And I feel like faux freckles are a trend at the moment. I mean, I have the actual real deal. But just sometimes they get a little bit hidden. Go over on the concealer brush. I haven't put any extra concealer on here. It's just whatever's left. It's just going to help blend them in. Okay cool, I'm not going to put them on the rest of my face because you can clearly, where the concealer isn't, you can see all the rest of my freckles very clearly. It's just across the bridge of the nose, they're slightly been hidden by the concealer. I just wanted to re-emphasize them. Now I'm going to set um, my face. I was going to dab this kind of in my usual areas, down my T-zone and in my eyes. So just say what to put on my cheeks and stuff. So it says to go in with the Sculpting Glow Contour Kit first and use the sculpting shade and then go in with the highlighter. So start off with the sculpting shade. And it says to put it on the cheekbones and like on the forehead and stuff and I'll probably put it across my nose as well because I think it looks nice. Fluffy brush to apply contour because I don't like, well, especially this contour because I feel it's got a little bit of warmth to it. Um, and I just don't like a heavy contour. I like a nice sun kissed glow. So let's just sweep it a little bit down the sides. It's going to add a little bit of shadow there. And then I just like to take it across the bridge of my nose. Now to go in with the champagne highlighter. That beautiful glow. I'm gonna put this. Where does this pop it? See now it says to put the highlighter on top of the cheekbones, under the brow, and the tip of the nose, which I would do 
but I'm also going to add it to the brow as well because I do like that look. In the brows, I do like doing that. It's really pretty. And I'm not picking on the tip of my nose. I don't, I'm not a fan of highlight right on the tip of the nose. I like it on the bridge. But that's it. I'm going to get my cheeks away. And you know what? Let's add that glow to the skin. Now, for one of the new products I had to pick up is a blush. So they say to use, let me see if I can find it. So this is one of their mineral brushes, and this is the shade Ooh La La. So I have tried their mineral brush before. So obviously it's one that comes in with the little sifter. It's a nice kind of pinky shade. So I'm going to pop some into the cap. Not too much. Honestly, I'm probably just going to use the same brush I used for the contour. And dap a little bit in. It picks up a lot of products. So I'm just going to tap it off onto the back of my hand. Just going to do that. pretty colour actually. So that's the skin portrait look done. Now moving on to the eyes. So it doesn't say about using an eye primer or anything like that and I do feel with these mineral eyeshadows you do need to use a primer or a concealer or whatever kind of base you want to use. So I will just go in with my primer as always. For the eyes, it says to use, there's three mineral eyeshadows it says to use. One I already own, which is the green opal one, a beautiful colour. And the other two, which actually look stunning, are Pixie Sparkle. Gorgeous, kind of bluey green colour. And then Deep Purple. So you can't really see that clearly through the thing, but you will. I think these are all, so it's all going to be quite shimmery or a shimmery eye look. But yeah, so I'm excited to play with this. So, what does it say? So start off with green opal first and pop in the inner third on the eye. Um, now it doesn't say how far to bring it up, but judging by the girl in the picture, she has put it above the crease. So I'm gonna do that as well. So this is the green opal. I think the best with a flat brush, personally. Or a shading brush. Should I do a shading brush? Yeah, I'm going to use a shading brush. This is the Handsome Pure E20. So I'm going to pick some up on this brush. Tap off the excess so you don't get loads of fallout. And like I said, you purposely want to make sure you have a tacky base with these just because it sticks so much better to the eyes. So let's start off with the green opal. And I'm very much going to do packing motions to begin with with this, just because I think it works best. Okay, next I'm supposed to take Pixie Sparkle for the centre part, so it's a beautiful kind of bluey green. Oh, that is nice. That is a nice colour. Well, I definitely want to do an eye look with just that colour. That's pretty. I really love that shade. That is such a pretty shade. Okay, and then finally, it says to put the deep purple on the outer third of the eye. And there is blending evolved in a second, but I just it just says to put them all down first. What kind of shape does she have it on the outer mm. Okay, now it says to take a blending brush. Oh, it says use their eye blending brush. I don't think I've... Oh, I've only got the tapered blending brush. So I might just use that just very softly and gently. Start blending out these edges. It's slightly less harsh.
So next is to take the deep purple shade on a liner brush, give it squirts with the makeup mist and use it as an eyeliner. Um, but then it says nothing about the lower lash line, whereas in the picture the girl definitely had something on the lash line, so I don't know if it's meant to be along there or if she puts it across the upper lid as well. So what I'm going to do first is mimic the colours I've done on the top upper the lid to the lower lash line because she's definitely got eyeshadow going right along there. Now I don't have that fixing mist from Lilo because I didn't particularly enjoy it. So I'm going to pick some up on a liner brush and squirt it with a different mist that I have. A little bit more now it's wet. And just I'm going to drag this along the upper lash line. I mean, it looks quite cool actually. Oh, that's better. Just went in with an extra bit of mist. And then for extra drama, I applied two coats of the Big Lash Mascara, so I did pick up a new one. Because like I said, I could not find mine for the life of me. Okay, so then it says to go in with the Eyebrow Duo to tighten the brow. So I've got mine in dark. Mine is a mess. Use an angle brush. I like to mix the wax in with the powder to create more of like a pomade type thing. Okay, so last but not least is lips. Now it says to go in with the lip liner in true pink, which I did not own. It's the only one I didn't own, so I picked it up. And to go over the to line and just to fill in completely. So that's what I'm going to do. On top, go with Scandal Lips Lip Gloss. However, when I moved, I did a bit of a declutter and I no longer have that lip gloss, and I didn't realise I didn't have that lip gloss until just now. But, um, so I'm going to go in with a different pink lip gloss from Lily Lowe. This is English Rose. I'm pretty sure Scandal Lips had a little bit of shimmer in it, which is why it's probably quite suitable for this look, but this one will have to do. So that is this look complete. So that was me trying to recreate the festival fun campaign from Lily Lola. I did alter it slightly in areas and make it more kind of what I like. But I love the colours. I'm so glad I picked up those new mineral eyeshadows because Pixie Sparkle is stunning. Deep purple as well, but that Pixie Sparkle one, the bluey green, is gorgeous. I want to do an eye look just with that. Um, so yeah, so this is the makeup look complete. I hope you enjoyed it. Also, let me know your recommendations of SPFs that you tried that you like because I really want to get a good SPF on the go. I did watch Jenna Catherine's video recently with her kind of clean beauty SPFs and so I've kind of got some ideas but I just thought I'd ask you your recommendations. I think I preferably would like something with a bit of a tint to it but 
um, just to kind of even out the complexion, but I'm not that first. The, major the main thing is that is the SPF purposes for it. So yeah, let me know your recommendations of ones that I should try down below. Um, leave a request for any future videos you'd like to see from me, and thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.